everybody it's Lacey welcome to pause and paper so I'm here today with my finished uh, patchwork junk journal this one I had made I had done the patchwork myself I've sewn the uh, the cute little border around it so I thought it turned out really cute so it has some buttons on the front that I have sewn in these are not actually vintage or anything like that these are just new but they look kind of old so th I thought that was really cute. So let's get through and flip through this journal. Now, this is an entire fabric journal. It's um, got batting in the middle, but it is lined on both sides with fabric. So it is a nice, soft, squishy journal, um, but it holds its shape really well. I thought it turned out really cool. And the spine is all hidden um, in the inside. So I did um, a finished fabric uh, hidden spine in here also. Um, now I'm calling this Grandma's Journal and uh, her name is Edna and you'll see why in here that this is called Edna. So here is Grandma Edna and there is a, just a really cool old cabinet card in there. Now this has a lot of vintage ephemera and really old pages. These pages in here I think are from either 1920s or 1910s. They're really old. Um, I have done some sewing on certain things. If you can see, um, lots of old uh, grungy papers. We did this doily pocket on um, a video. And I have just different pieces of antique and vintage ephemera and then mixed in with some newer things. So there's a little bit of both. Um, they're sewing around here. Here is Edna, and Edna has all kinds of handwritten notes to her from her classmates from 1928. So that is why it's called Edna, because there's a lot of uh, things in here that Edna has saved. And this is like her scrapbook, um, some handwritten letters, which are just really cool. The entire letter is in this journal, so if you uh, want to read the whole letter, I just have it mixed throughout the the whole journal. Um, we did do these on uh, video. Um, this is one I didn't show on video, but we did the uh, fabric scraps um, making things. Here's just a pretty old vintage birthday card. I love the glitter on those, if you can see the glitter. Um, here's some French ledger pages really cool grungy ledger pages here's just a fabric envelope and then inside the envelope she has saved just bits and pieces this is from 1906 ladies home journal and she must have wanted to make herself a pretty dress so she must have saved it for that reason so this is like edna's scrapbook so there's just things tucked in here all kinds of goodies to explore um, I love this ledger there's just pieces tucked on it this one here is like glued on there and I just folded it down to make a little flap here's like a doily the doily envelopes we made and here's a picture of Edna's family some people she knew just a postcard taken in 1922 some pretty pages these made a flip out they were like the postcard things some tracing paper sewn edges we had made these in a project together lots of goodies here we made those and I just tucked a little tag in it um, the really pretty black and white pages here's just some ledger tucked in there Here's just the back of the first signature. This has three signatures in it. And then just each signature has the uh, scrapbook paper on the outsides to make it a little bit more sturdy. Here's just a letter. Um, the whole letter is in here that you can look at from 1930. I thought it was really pretty envelope, all grungied up. And every signature has one of these pockets, these fabric pockets on the front, and it's decorated. And then it has lace trimmed down certain pages. These we made. More letters. Um, the whole uh, doily pocket stuffed full of all kinds of vintage pieces, photos. 
Um, here's an envelope. Just got pictures stuffed in here. Um, this piece is just decorative on top. More vintage pieces tucked in there on that little piece. There's another fabric little birdie we made. There's the French ledger. Really pretty paper. Just some pretty scrapbook paper. Here's another fabric envelope. And inside this fabric envelope is more goodies. Um, a check from 1924. I think an invoice of some kind. And then a recipe for some pudding. So I thought that was kind of cool. like the picture on that one. Stick that in there. So I thought Edna was really fun to make. I loved the uh, the variety of the papers in here. Um, and I just thought it was really fun adding all this vintage ephemera. These are super cute. This is a really old card I had found. They're actually like vellum. And then it's got like the paper on it with a really old envelope. So I just thought those were so cute. So she saved that card. Tuck that in there. And just the contrast between the whites and the dark colors of the natural aging of things. Here's some more letters to Edna. And uh, what is this? A receipt of some kind. Not sure. From 1947. Just cool. Cool old things tucked in there. We made that tuck on camera. Here's another one of those postcard type flip outs. More tracing paper, fun to crinkle. Um, here's some more uh, ephemera, just different receipts. And I think that's a paste stub, actually, like a, yeah. More sewing, little pockets with little tags. Gorgeous old papers. And then the card stock. Um, outside edges of the signatures and this one I just decorated up some really pretty lace all up and down there and a pretty picture more lace and then the third signature is got lace down the side all sewing around just a fun little dangle there another little pocket here's the little dragonfly we made just a tag that is been gessoed on so you could write on that the really pretty black and white pages Lots of room to still write and stuff, but lots of things tucked in here. Here's some more black and white photos, little pieces and cards. Um, here's one that we made this one. Turn it into a tuck spot with just some more different vintage ephemera in there. Um, there is pockets here behind a note card that you could journal on. There's different receipts, handwritten notes, some stamps. Just different things tucked in there. Fun stuff to look at. And there's the last one that we had made, the butterfly. I love those. Those were so cute. Here's that really cool French ledger. More scrapbook paper. Here's the birdie on the last fabric envelope. And there's just all kinds of stuff tucked in here again. Just different pieces of vintage ephemera. Stuff to look at and explore, play with. Um, here's a blank telegraph page just tucked in there. Here's the back side of the French ledger. Here's our last doily envelope. This must be Edna's friends, Eleanor, Eunice, Helen, Lee, and me. So there's all of Edna's friends. She kept that. And here's a piece. She must have been looking to buy a corset from, this is from 1901. Just love these pictures of these ladies. That's tucked in there. Uh, we did make these. Part of the lace pocket tucks and things we made. Here's a postcard fold out. The tracing paper. So every signature is relatively the same with the styles. Here's another Note to Edna, the last little doily pocket, and the back side of the 
third signature. And the fabric here is like an upholstered fabric and a really pretty cream color. So this journal here is approximately seven by 11 and it is about four inches thick. So four inches thick and it stays closed. So I didn't add a closure. So it's not like it's flapping open because the fabric is heavy enough to keep it closed. So it is staying closed all by itself. So I really thought it was kind of cool that it just kind of laid here by itself without needing a closure. So I did list this in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go take a look but this one has been lots of fun to make. So Edna is available if anyone is interested in purchasing her. And I will see you guys later, hopefully with another crafting video. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.